Today's video is all about the new Total Gym Evolve. I'll compare it to other Total Gym models and give some background on why or why not it may be a success. And if you want to learn more, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Let's get started. Total Gym classifies the Evolve as the premium model of their consumer lineup. It notches above the Total Gym Fit, but below the GTS and Encompass, which are their commercial grade models. In fact, a few months before launching the Evolve, Total Gym discontinued the GTS on their direct-to-consumer website, but it's still being offered on their commercial website. It's likely they moved the GTS off their consumer site to give the new Evolve less competition from the higher-end models, but more on that later. The big new feature of the Evolve is the adjustable glide board. You can raise the board up so it becomes a level surface. The benefits of that are better spinal alignment, and better body positioning, especially for lateral exercises. It's also helpful for people who may get dizzy when doing exercises in an inverted position because it keeps the head above the heart. And the level of position can make it easier to get on and off the glide board. The new glide board is also larger and more padded than those on the lower end models. Some of the other new features include 16 levels of resistance, the rotating training deck and device holder, the upgraded pulleys and cables, and the upgraded height adjustment column. To adjust the height, you squeeze the adjustment handle, then release it to lock in place. Then you add the safety hitch pins, just like on the fit model. The column also has a window, so you can easily determine which level you have it set at. Now let's do a quick comparison to see how the Evolve stacks up. Based on current pricing as of April 2024, it's more than twice the price of the Fit, but $1,500 less than the GTS. Although it has 16 levels of incline, it's only half an inch taller than the Fit. The maximum weight matches that of the GTS, but the unit weighs 80 pounds less. And when it's unfolded, it's about 4 inches longer than the Fit. Now let's take a look at the accessories. Total Gym claims the Deluxe Squat Stand is their largest squat stand to date. It also comes with a two-piece wing attachment, an ab crunch, and press-up bars. Those accessories look very similar to the ones for the Fit and XLS, but it's not clear if they're compatible across models. The Evolve also accepts a weight bar. One thing that stands out is that the Evolve does come with a few decent accessories. For the GTS, many of the accessories have to be purchased separately, so that further dries up the cost of that model. Other features include the increased number of exercises you can perform, the upgraded steel frame for improved stability, the upgraded pulleys and cables, and it comes with free shipping. That's another difference from the GTS or Encompass, which requires freight shipping at an added cost. Overall, the Evolve looks to be a great model with some nice upgrades, but will it be a hit or miss for Total Gym? Looking back on Total Gym's history, in 2011 they introduced the Power Tower, the current version of the GTS, and another model called the Sport. It was essentially a stripped down version of the GTS. But Total Gym stopped offering that model at some point because it wasn't selling. In 2013, the Sport sold for around $2,300 or about $3,100 in today's dollars. The GTS currently sells for $4,000. The price difference between the models may have been too small. My guess is that people who were willing to spend that much probably opted for the GTS instead. With the Evolve, they seem to be taking a different approach. Rather than stripping down a higher end model, they're adding higher end features to a lower end model. And if you look at the difference in price between the two models with the same group of attachments, the difference is significant. Maybe that difference in price will give the Evolve the room it needs to succeed. Only time will tell if the Evolve is a hit or a miss. So what do you think? Is the Evolve worth the money? Are you impressed with the features? Are you planning to purchase one? I'd love to hear from you, so leave your comments below. In the meantime, take care and stay tuned for more Total Gym workouts, tips, and reviews from David's Total Fitness.